Ha ha, bitch. What do you got now? And if he has something, I'm gonna feel really embarrassed. What's up, noobs? I'm Greener. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. All right, so you want a deck that you can climb reliably? Well, this is the deck. This is probably uh, the best deck in the game right now. It has been for a while. Today, we're playing Face Hunter. There are a couple of Face Hunter lists out there right now. Uh, I'm not running the one with Toxic Reinforcements and Explosive Trap. I'm running the one with Pack Tactics. So this deck is very simple. You want to draw your early stuff. Maybe get a board with your, you know, Dwarven Sharpshooter, Intrepid Initiate. Hopefully, you can pull your Face Stalkers with your Scavenger's Ingenuity and then you can just like start popping off with your secrets it really sucks when you're playing this list when you actually draw your secrets because you don't ever want to do that you want to hit all your secrets like for free with your face stalker and then when you get low on resources pop out your voracious reader and then hopefully by like turn four or five you get pole kelt and then you just drop pole kelt and you draw into dragon bane double kill command and the game's over the good thing about face hunter and why so many people are playing it is that you either win early or you lose early but either way the games go really really quick so that means you can play more and more games on the ladder so if you have any like positive win rate at all you are going to start to climb all right let's climb reliably while never having any fun at the game at all all right, so I'm going to hang on to the Phase Stalker because you never know. You might never draw Scavenger's Ingenuity, uh, but I am going to toss these two. Okay, so this is a great one drop to get. This is not my favorite, but also it's not the worst. If I if I pull the other one without hitting with Scavenger's Ingenuity, then that's going to be terrible. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I think I'm going to uh, Dwarven Sharpshooter on one. Kind of wish I hit, hit a tour guide because I have face stalker in hand. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to trade in here. And then um, run out the demon companion. And the wobble tinger. Because that's too many targets for the one arcane missiles to hit. I will crush your delusions of grandeur gonna do it anyway though okay so i wasted the coin on it hopefully he whips not the best not the worst so i am gonna get rid of this and i'm gonna pop out adorable infestation on my uh, sharpshooter gotcha. Got to make it as hard as possible to get rid of these because these are so good the for the early game. Oh, it says explode. Man, he had every early game, early game card in his hand, huh? I don't want to leave anything up, but I also have to start going face. So I think I'm going to pop out the face stalker. We're going to hit here. And then we're just start, going to start going face. That's a pack tactics. So that's good if he trades in with his 1 3 at all. Oh, it says explode. Okay, so he gained a bunch of resources, but he's not trading in yet. That's a lot of spell damage, though. That's good, though, because now it's easier for us to get rid of his board. Uh, I think I am going to start with the scavenger's ingenuity. Great card to hit with it. So we got to get rid of his board because he also has a uh, spell damage minion in hand. And like th this shit can get out of control fast. Right. So I'm going to trade in here. I'm going to hit here. I'm going to pop out the tinger. And then just hit him in the face. Okay, so this is a great board. Um, he's only a five mana. He's already down to 18. Pressure plate if he plays something big. You fight me, you get burned. Okay, so that's gone. Turn it up. Interesting that it gets the proc off though. There's always these like weird interactions where like, I don't know what's gonna happen and then we just win so like that was a weird interaction right where it's like pressure plate killed it 
but it also got its crocs off. I don't know all, all of those yet, but they're fun to see. Okay, so I'm gonna cut kill command. I need one face stalker, but I definitely don't need two. So I'm gonna cut these two. Give me some one drops, bro. All right, if this is quest shaman, then we have to go really fast. Otherwise, he's just gonna AOE us down. So I'm gonna toss out tour guide. Hopefully this will be a face soccer free secret turn too. Yeah, okay, we're doing it. Actually, wait, do I, uh, do I coin out this guy so we can get rid of the totem? Like we need to win early or we don't win at all, you know? Plague of Murlocs already. Holy shit, this guy with the commitment. Okay, so not the worst because we still have stats on board. So I think I'm gonna adorable infestation this one. Yeah, and then smack him in the face with everything. And just hero power, right? We have a freezing trap. He has nothing on board, so he's gotta be wary of what he lays. I mean, unless the only thing he has in his hand are spells, in which case I think we're fucked. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pop the eagle horn bow. I'm gonna smack him in the face with this. I'm gonna smack him in the face with this. I'm gonna pop out the wobble tinger. I'm gonna say, ha ha, bitch. What do you got now? And if he has something, I'm gonna feel really embarrassed. And then they concede because they know your superiority. Because they know this deck, this deck wins. All right, so you never want to draw your secrets, but I think I am going to keep these two. If this is Soul Demon Hunter, uh, this is the hardest matchup against Face Hunter. So let's hope it's not. All right, going to start off with the Sharpshooter on one. Nothing but a bunch of big Usually Demon Hunters overextend to always get rid of this card. Or, or they just have consume magic because who needs to like actually have strategies, right? I'm salty. I'm sorry. It's like every time I don't film, I win so many games in a row. And then every time I do film, it's like, we're going to make you film mm. for 10 hours just to get, you know, 20 minutes of footage. Okay. So I think I'm going to intrepid initiate oh, magic. and then hit it with the adorable infestation. Do you have another silence, bitch? He does! He does! He does, in fact, have another silence. Holy fuck balls, man. Who wants to tell me the chances of having two silences in your hand by turn two? Anyone? Okay, so I'm gonna hit him with the scavenger's ingenuity. And then hit him with the uh, Wobbletinger. Voila! Gotcha. Job's done. Panthara. So this guy's probably Soul Demon Hunter. Even though I don't know why he would have two consume magics though in Control Demon Hunter. Usually they have one, but definitely not two. All right, so I think we trade here. And then we face with the rest. Uh, pop down a pack tactics. And hit him with the hero power. Job done. Okay, so yeah, we got to end this quick before he heals it all back. So I am actually going to use kill command. Hit him in the face with everything. And the hero power. And hope he cannot heal beyond four health this turn. I knew that card was coming. I just really wanted it not to be this soon. Oh man, this is not good. Okay, we're gonna use Scavenger's Ingenuity. That's not the card I needed it to be at all. Okay, pop out Wobbletinger. This, whatever this is. 
Hit him with the hero power. Hope he can't both clear and heal in one turn. I mean, he probably can. Soul Demon Hunter does that very well, but we're hoping that he doesn't have it. This power. He had it. He, ha he had both of it. Everything I said, I hope he doesn't have. He had it all. Oh my god, isn't that so fun? When you're like, I won this game, and then you're like, nope, no I didn't. Okay, so we use this, we use this, and we use this. We can still win this, I just need him not to heal 500 million more points. Or maybe he just has lethal, you know, whatever. You know, when you don't get your uh, lower keeper pull killed, especially into your hardest matchups, you can really feel it. You know, you can you can really feel it. Nothing but a bunch of big bats. You here for the tour? I have enough. He's gonna be able to do five damage, and I'm not gonna be able to do nine damage. So I have to use kill command on this, right? Just to try to prevent him from doing five. But I still have no way of doing seven. Wow, isn't this matchup fun, guys? Oh, there's the other heal. Yeah. Great, man. Super, super cool. Great. Yeah. Remember how I was winning that match for like... 99.9% .9 of it. This is why this game is so fun. All right, so I'm gonna hang on to Scavenger's Ingenuity. I'm gonna get rid of these two because, come on, man. I don't want to draw those. I wanna hit him with these. We're against a priest, so we either win early or not at all. And I didn't get a one drop to follow. I mean, I know I gave up two one drops with the Wobbletinger, but like, you don't want Wobbletinger and Scavenger's Ingenuity in the hand at the same time. You just don't. So I have two of my beasts in hand. So this is kind of crappy now, but you know what? I'm stubborn. I'm using it anyway. Job done. And it's drawing me my secrets as well. Cool, even though I have a face locker in hand, it's drawing me my secrets. So you know what? I'm gonna hit Wobbletinger. I'm gonna hit the other Wobbletinger and I'm gonna hit Adorable Infestation on whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Sure, that looks fine. Does he have the uh, the clear this early? Of course he does, he's a priest. Nothing but a bunch of big birds. All right, so I'm gonna toss out the face locker. I'm gonna trade in here. I'm gonna hit him with that. Hit him with this. Probably going to have to concede it again this game because every time I try to play this deck tonight, it just puts me against my ultimate counters to the point where I'm getting very infuriated. Wave of Apathy. Awesome, dude. So I'm going to hit him with the Eagle Horn Bow, Hero Power, and just smack him. Death. Somehow I'm going to get this priest down to like about 10 HP and then he's going to have, you know, uh, apotheosis and something that I can't deal with. So his apotheosis goes off like four times. It's going to be great. All right. So I'll toss out the dragon bane. Hit the, uh, hit the hero power. It doesn't hit this. Do I have lethal yeah, though? Man. And you know what? It turns out I have lethal. And you know what? I am going to include this game even though I'm super fucking salty because I hate Priest and Priest deserve to lose 100% of the time. Now. Okay, so this deck is consistent. It works. If you want to climb fast, this is the deck to do it with because the games are so fast that all you need is a little bit above a 50% win rate, and you'll just start to climb. This deck is pretty cheap. 
I think the only expensive cards in this deck are Lower Keeper Polkelt and Dragon Bane. So if you have the cards, play it. You will climb. Personally, I'm super sick of seeing this deck because it's everywhere and it's consumed the meta. And I really wish the meta would change more often than it does so we don't get like stuck with one deck for an eternity. But hey, that's the way the game is. This deck works. Use it to climb. Anyway, GG.